It is the largest and most pervasive impersonation scam that we're aware of, and it has claimed thousands of victims in every state represented on this committee. Here's how it works. The intended victim receives an unsolicited phone call from a person claiming to be an IRS agent. The caller, using a fake name, tells the victim a made-up badge number and claims that they owe tax and that they are criminally liable for some amount owed. The callers may even know the last four digits of the victim's social security number. They then threaten the victim by stating that if they fail to pay immediately, the victim will be arrested or face other criminal sanctions, such as losing their driver's license. TIGDA has received over 366,000 reports of these calls, averaging between 9,000 and 12,000 calls coming into my agency each week. As of March 9th, 2015, over 3,000 individuals have been victimized by this scam by paying a total of $15.5 million, or an average of $5,000 per victim. The highest reported loss by one individual was a staggering $500,000. The, the, the scam is so simple, we'll never be able to prevent somebody from picking up the phone claiming to be another person mm -hmm. and demanding money. It's public awareness at the top of it, because when the money goes, dries up, the criminals will go away but getting our hands on them and bringing them to justice in the historic way is one of the things we want to do because we want people to pay for this, but it's not a solution to the crime. It's people hanging up the telephone and not being victimized. 